Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Athena. This is Fat Life Unfiltered, and so where the fuck <laughs> have I been? Um, let me give you guys an update of what has been going on the past couple of months. Um, as for my eye, I don't know if you guys can tell. So this is the good one, and then this is the repaired one. Um, it looks a little bit smaller than this one at times. It's still healing, um, but I did have an appointment yesterday, and my doctor said that it's healing fine. Um, I go back in another month. I will be doing drops now. I believe I went from four times a day to three times a day to now two times a day. Um, a lot of drops, a lot of um, moisturizing drops as well. And he actually did remove some sutures yesterday, so everything with my eye seems to be going very, very well. I'm really, really excited about that. Now, as far as weight loss, I actually have not been um, on here for, I think, a good couple of months now or a good month I honestly don't even remember <laughs> it took me a second to even set up my camera and remember how to use the damn thing um so what has been going on with that I wish I could tell you guys that I was doing really really good I wish I could tell you guys that I lost all this weight and I'm feeling amazing um but that's not necessarily the truth um, I'm sure as everyone could probably see in my face I have gained probably about a good 30 pounds but the reason why I'm coming on here too to let you guys know what's going on is because I will be soon, <laughs> as soon as we get through July 4th, um, start re-recording, st um, start trying to record again, um, get back on track. I have noticed a few people that I interact with on YouTube and other YouTubers and I'm sure the world goes round and everyone notices the same things, but uh, quite a few of us have kind of <laughs> drifted off and you know, that's what I mean about life just happens, you know, things go Go on personal mental just everything and that's the honest truth there what I do want to also share with you guys though is I had come across something okay so my dad <sighs> I know he means well at times but sometimes he makes me feel like I did when I was 13 you know inadequate fat you know just all of those things and he's always been one that has always mentioned something about my weight even way way back then um, but he actually gave me a magazine and at first I didn't know how to take it because he was like, oh, it's got Dr. Oz on it. <laughs> and look what it says. <laughs> Reboost your metabolism, you know. And I was like, oh, thanks. I'm getting all this weight. And he notices. And he's like, hey, stop fucking eating. And so I kind of took it the wrong way when he gave me this magazine. I was but by the middle of the day, we were outside kicking back in the backyard. I actually started reading some of the articles and of course one of the first things I turned to was, was it the, the metabolism reset to see what Dr. Oz had to say. And even though I didn't appreciate this at the time, I actually went through and read the article and just kind of felt, I don't know, like inspired or just wanted to try something different. It's basically eliminating meat. Yes, meat peoples, and I'm, I'm a big meat eater, I'm going to be honest about that. Meat and dairy for 21 days. So this is borderline going vegan slash vegetarian because I didn't notice anything like say I made noodles or something and I used fish. Uh, Say I made noodles or something and I used fish sauce. It doesn't say I can't use that, but I know vegans don't necessarily use that. I still think it falls kind of along the lines because I'm not having any other kind of protein unless it really does come from or derive from like my veggies or plant-based. So I'm kind of, you know, excited now to try something different. I'm a little bit scared. I'm looking forward to starting this. Um, I'm not going to start it until after the 4th of July, um, only because I will be able to go grocery shopping then and get kind of what we need. Um, actually, I should say what I need. My husband will be sitting this one out. I can just get through 21 days. I know one week is going to be the hardest, <laughs> but if I can get through that. Am I going to video it or, I mean, you know, record it and you know do a whole this day of you know this is what I'm eating I am not sure yet I'm not going to commit to that but I think I want to kind of try to get back into the swing of things hey not rambling about that I just wanted to show some supplements that I've been taking and this is not for health like oh I'm so healthy now because I take supplements or oh um this is stuff that I usually still take day in and day out um there's just a couple things that I did add um but this one's almost gone but fish oil I'm still taking fish oil um I'm still taking vitamin d because I am vitamin d deficient I do need to get tested again to see if 
if my levels had gone up. I actually taken maca root. And the reason why I'm taking maca root, maca root, maca root, I don't know how you say it, is because it's supposed to help with, um, like, help study your hormones. And I remember looking it up and it was good for infertility and things along that line. This, once my fish oil is gone, I will be opening this. It's DHA. I only got it for like $1.39. And I got this at Walgreens. So once that one's gone, I can bust this baby open. I have started going back on my green tea fat metabolizer. This I just like because it kind of gives me a boost throughout the day. Um, I only recently started retaking it again. I picked this up and it's called <laughs> Bow Cleanse. Renew Life. I got this because, well, you know what you use it for. <laughs> it's basically like a colon cleanse. This one though I will have to say that, I don't want to say I'm enjoying it, but um, I mean who really enjoys a fucking, you know, cleanse like that. Um, this one is not harsh. This one does not have you running to the bathroom. It doesn't have you, you know, having to skip work or be like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> I gotta get, you know, I gotta stay next to the toilet. It's nothing like that. This one just makes you go regularly and um, so I'm gonna start retaking these. Um, these are just prenatal pills and that's just good for my hair, my nails, everything and to get some of the other stuff that I'm probably not getting from my foods because my food's been crap. So another update that I have though too is kind of what derailed me a little bit, I hate using that word, but derailed me off track, all the negativity, you know, just made me go <laughs> on the weight loss journey. And um, it has been my infertility struggles. I have, I think, emotionally put myself into like a depression. It's really affected me a lot the past two months. Um, I just have not been myself. I have not wanted to do anything. I have not wanted to focus on health stuff. I kind of felt like my time, you know, in my fertility window, um, it, it, it's already pretty, you know, shortened um, because of my age, um, my weight, just other factors that are kind of against me. I feel inadequate as a woman. I feel like, you know, what if this never happens for me? Um, what have I done? What, you know, could I have done to prevent this? Um, a lot of blame, a lot of guilt, just a lot of over-the-top emotions is all I can say about that. Um, so the other day we decided to go back to counseling, um, but I opted to want to go back because I want to be able to express my feelings to my husband, you know, um, just about how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, and kind of just let things go. I'm trying to let things go. It's always, I think, going to be a sore subject for me and it's going to be a recurring theme on my channel and even if it never happens, it's something that's always going to kind of plague me. It's put an unsurmountable amount of stress on me and feeling bad and just feeling low and that's all I can say. It's feeling low and bad about myself and unfortunately that with bad eating and then gaining weight just made me feel kind of worthless and I'm trying to get out of that funk I'm trying to be I want to say my chipper self because you know what I think that's just how I kind of am but I don't want to be the Eeyore anymore and I really want to start looking forward to things and I don't want my channel to suffer because of it this is one issue though that I know that I know hinders my weight loss so this is something that I need to focus on now because you need to get mental clarity and I definitely feel lately that that's just what I've so just been lacking and even when you know it though it's hard to see it at the time. So enough jibber jabbering, that's everything I think kind of in a nutshell that's been going on, you know, health wise and why I haven't been on here. I'm hoping to change that and start getting things back in gear. So if you haven't already, please hit the like button, subscribe if you can, comment down below. I have really, really missed you guys. I do thank you guys for the support that I still have been given because I do still check my messages, even if it's just from time to time. I still have been trying to get back to you guys on that. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.